Okay, so now we're going to show how to um, post transactions, submit to insurance, and schedule an appointment. Um, you would be going here to right-click on the patient, and patient information brings up this window here. We would want to go to the chart, that little chart button you'd click on. After the chart uploads, um, the treatment planning tab here is where we would want to click on. And then here is where um, we would be adding our treatment. And so we would do schedule appointment and you would click that button and it's going to tell you that you're scheduling group one and this is all that's listed in that group is group one and it's a filling of tooth number L, surface O, and the charges are $135. We're gonna hit OK here, and then that brings us to be able to click on these buttons. We will go to the appointment book, and we will schedule the appointment. So once you have found the date the patient wants to schedule for, you would click this button here, and it says find. And then it brings up an option to scroll through different days and months. And so the patient has told me they want to schedule for example, Friday the 21st of September, and they want to schedule for 11 a.m. We are going to click on the 11 a.m. tab. The doctor chair one, doctor chair two, and it can be put in either column here and we're going to double click on that and it's just warning me that the office is is closed on Friday we're doing this just as an example for you um, but we're going to just override that and click OK it says the office is closed do we want to override yes the doctor is not here do you want to override yes those three you wouldn't normally have to do but just because we are on a day that we are closed and not seeing patients that's how we have to do so you would go to right click on the appointment and then edit the appointment. And this is where you can write any appointment notes. If you think the patient might need numbness, you would say with numbness. Or if you wanted to add another service, if you want to add say nitrous to have that laughing gas with that filling, you would type in the appropriate code according to our code list you would hit tab and once you hit tab that brings these pre-filled in information the price and description and then you hit OK here and it just is reminding us that we're closed and then extend the appointment time for the length that you would like to have Oops. by going to edit and here's the slots. Each slot here at Round Lake Dental is 15 minutes. So if I want the uh, schedule to be scheduled for an hour for this filling, I would put in four time slots and I would hit OK. And it's just going to remind us again that we're closed today. And then there is your hour long 11 a.m. appointment for your patient for their filling. Right now we will go into um, posting different transactions for a patient. This is the patient that has already been checked in. Say you've already cleaned their teeth, you've already charted, done the notes, taken x-rays and all that needs to be done. And you are bringing the patient up front um, and you are going to post. What you would do here is you would say, check out and it's going to bring up the appointment card for the day. And so this tells you that you did a cleaning and you did an exam for the patient. If there was something that you needed to add in, like a bite wing image, you would just find the appropriate code, enter the number, hit tab, and that would pre-fill in there. Once you have all of the codes of the services you performed for the day for the patient, you would hit OK and that allows you to um, use these buttons at the top and you would want to post and it says post appointment once you've posted the appointment it brings you to the patient's transactions and it shows you what you posted 
So we did a cleaning exam and two bite wings. From here, you hit close. And this brings you to a submission of insurance for the claims window. So we don't need to schedule an appointment because we already did so. The patient told me they don't want a statement. So all we're gonna do is submit to insurance. We're gonna hit okay. And it's telling you the date of your claim and you hit okay. This is just another window for the claim. Uh, you can hit okay. And then another okay here to submit that claim electronically. And then there your claim has been submitted and you are complete with your patient. All right, so I think this is some basic information on how to navigate SAFTA for you guys. I hope this helps. Thank you.